that's where I want to go. Finish this quest. Finish the quest. Hello, loading screen. How are you today? Eventually. Well, well. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, yes, yes, he is. Finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? Hmm. Well, we need help. We need help, Piper. This man named Kellogg kidnapped my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute. Sean! Oh, boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Sean! They've been hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, nobody really knows where the institute actually is. Or why did you just in. jump up? Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. He's dead. I killed him. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah, I knew he wasn't going to go quietly the moment I saw him. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Yay. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. I fucking do it again. Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place <laughs> in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. The mind behind the memories. That rhymes with calamari. Sure, why not? I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got <laughs> no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Well, it just so happens I have a piece of his brain. It's not entirely gray or matter. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're what riding lottery? this crazy brain train or not, we can all go running across the Commonwealth. So, who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. If you want to head there together, just say so. Take Nicky, boy. Why Too not? Many, Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. While you two are out, I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be here if you need me. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. It got started with a nuclear bomb. 200 years ago by your time. 
Where are you going, Nick? Why are you going over there, Nick? Anything I can do? You just say the word. What word? Uh, never mind. I'm going. Goodbye. Even good people do crazy things when they're scared. Ought to be Diamond City's motto. Huh. Nope. I think it's even better if you say Diamond City, run by a synth. Stay right there, magazine. Stop spinning. Just stop spinning. I don't care if it takes longer to load. Just stop spinning. I know. This is insane. Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different outcome. I'm expecting it to stop spinning. I could just go over here and go south. Yeah. Sure, why not? Another loading screen. How joyous. If I could afford an editor, the editor could edit out all these loading screens. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm not going to be able to afford an editor ever. That was sarcasm. Because ever implies forever. And sarcasm, as you all know, is just another form of lying. Vault tech. Okay, Nick, um, try to keep up with me here. What the what? Wonderful. Teleported into the middle of a firefight. Do you have anything I want? Nope. There. That's exactly where I want that to be. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. I have insurance. Unless it's keep dumb assholes away from me insurance. I'm not interested. Now don't be like that. I think you're gonna like what I have on offer. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. All muscle, new brain. Accidents, jackass. <laughs> I like you already. Walk into a new place, make a show. Anything useful? Nice. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Is your first name John there, Mr. Hancock? Are your signatures overly elaborate and curvy?
I turned that guy into paste. His limbs exploded and went places I don't know how to find. It was beautiful. Uh, Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about the lonely. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Nick, Amari keep your personal you life personal. Way, boy -o. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Not really, no. We got a guy's brain we want to explore. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Yes! No, what I'm insane. I don't know about Nick. Corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Um... What now? Isn't there some way to make this work? This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Time to be a sarcastic jackass! Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? Ego, fetch me the brain. No? No. I will not. Damn it, you're no fun, Amari. Here's what I could find. After I blew his head into What's pieces. This? this isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Is Nick compatible? Hmm. Is the brain still good? Skip the science. Is Nick compatible? I want to know. Nick's an older model since. Is he compatible? That's exactly what I was thinking. If we are lucky, it should hook right in. But even if this works, Mr. Valentine would be taking on a tremendous amount of risk. We're talking yeah, about his personality could be overwritten. Great. Don't worry about me, Amari. Let's do it. Thanks, Nick. I appreciate no sarcasm. I'm plugging you into a toaster next. Mmm, fresh toast. Uh, it's nice to know that even when I'm about to have a foreign object shoved into my noggin, you find new horrible ways to laugh at my expense. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. <laughs> if I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? I would Let's never. I need Yoink. you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Or plonk. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories hmm. in the implant. Yeah, but is Nick okay? Is Nick gonna be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully, it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. But that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But... What if we used to? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. I can't resist. Nick and I are going to share a mind? I'm not going to see him in any compromising positions, am I? 
Now, if a smart mouth was all it took to solve problems, we would have found your son by now. <laughs> uh, no. You won't have to worry about that. Don't worry, Don't Nick. I actually do care. You just can't them. see it for all the sarcasm. Let's do it. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. If I do that, then I can't play the game. See you on the other side. Can I take Gary with me? I mean the clone, not the snail. I'm standing by. Actually, I'm sitting by. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. Huh. They might not be stable. Just hold on. We we're going for a joyride. What's with all the white? Doc. Doc. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you Can't through the jump intact off the memories edge and, into the abyss. and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Why is the floor made out of neurons? Can I read these? Damn it, I can't read them. Remember, you are experiencing these Dad memories. Dad was either drunk or not this around. Disorienting at I first. guess he must have run with one of the raiders. I was such a dummy back then. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me. People always hoping for something better. They usually end up with something worse. Sure. This doesn't seem that. to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. It's gonna... The thing about happiness is... is you only know you had it when it's gone. That's a lie, Kellogg. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but... Uh, you don't really believe it. Kellogg, I diagnosed you with on clinical depression. Petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. It'll be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now with the baby? I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. And that's why Probably you were impressed. Probably happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. Come on, Sarah, you've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know, but that's where I come in. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Okay, I'm bored. Most Moving along. Just... Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. I'm 
curious, where the hell is Nick in all this? How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. Okay, moving I along. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Ah, yes, I do feel blase about all this. <clears throat> Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. <laughs> Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. Does he have duct tape? I always got paid in knee? the end. One way or another. Oh, you have fun there. So, um... Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Won't let me fall into the abyss. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were re I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kind of ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. Uh, I wasn't going to be stupid you. enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. Evidently no not, because you. you're dead, dummy! I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. System is off. Shutting down. Nice. Very nice. Hmm. Finesse. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Yes, very impressive. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic state. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. Mm. <laughs> I guess the I was old man who killed them so all. many loose ends. Too bad. The eggheads never like taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me, and I made sure they knew it. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully, it's all just. Find him. Pod C6, down the hall near the end.
Well, on you go. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. <laughs> yeah. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft pre-war vault dweller. Even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. Uh, they didn't tell you, you that that soft pre-war vault dweller was actually ex to ex armed forces. I don't know if it was army or marines or whatever. This is the one. Here. Open it. But yes, the character you get to play as is X Armed Forces. Are we okay? Almost. Dude, anyway. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come no, here, wait. baby. No, no. I've got him. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh, I never like to. And yeah. I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but uh, I'm still human. Mostly. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean. <laughs> All right, bye. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Wasn't my idea Is to settle down with son? the kid in the middle of Diamond City. This to be a very recent memory. <laughs> I thought so it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were no, bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Mm, no. Let's get on with it. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Names, Dr. Brian Virgil. Virgil! We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. Why eliminate him? Yes. 
Stand next to me and uh, they could just bring okay. him back into their group instead of killing him. X688, ready to relay with Sean. Ah, uh, farts. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. A little late to say bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Where to go to activate the thingy? Ain't I a stinking genius? No, I'm not. I'm an idiot. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effect. Be the side effect of being bouncy. I'm gonna jump on you. How do you feel? Am I okay? Are you seeing anything bad? Don't be alarmed, but I honestly don't know what to look for. As I said before, this is uncharted territory, but your neural and physiological readings have returned to normal. Yay. From a medical standpoint, you're fine. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Yes. Are you? You were along for the ride, weren't you? You saw what I saw. Yes, but it's important we reveal <laughs> everything together. In case either of us missed anything. Hang on. Take your time. Feeling dizzy? Ah, oh, wunderbar. Someone's going to get food. Um, Kellogg's life. Let's talk about that. I saw Kellogg's life. The man who ruined my family. Man, I Easy, boy -o. Stay on purpose. He was a human being just like the rest of us. And he had reasons for being what he was, however cruel. How does that make you feel? Amari, are you a psychiatrist? <laughs> it... it wasn't all his fault. I can't blame him for everything that happened. If I were a priest, I would say forgiveness is a good thing. But you're not. You're getting off track. The important thing is that we discovered the Institute's greatest secret, teleportation. The only question is, what do we do now? Don't be sarcastic. I shouldn't, but I'm going to. Why? You don't have a spare teleporter lying around? What kind of egghead are you? This is serious. No one outside the Institute could dream of making that kind of technology. Wait, yeah, you can maybe dream. That's it. That memory about Virgil, their scientist who went rogue? If we found him... That's a good idea. I like it. I like it. The memory said the Institute tracked him to the glowing sea, but that seems crazy. A madman would think might not have been able to hear it, but my knee just popped. I don't know what to say, other than why. Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Radiation. So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. 
Navigating uh -huh. radioactive yeah. hazards Retract is not easy, the but the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. That's why it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. It's the wonderful, perfect hiding spot. I love it! That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to he do did. the same. If you're going to follow him. Hmm. Oh, I'm going in naked. Fingers crossed I get superpowers. I know you're joking, <laughs> but as a doctor, I feel obligated to remind you that unprotected radioactive exposure will only kill you. Dead. D-E-A-D. Are you sure you find a way to get through there with your life intact? And good luck. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Still gonna try to jump on you. Can't jump on the doctor. Damn it. Nicky boy -oh. how you doing? Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. You want to try for round two? Let's go. What? What are you talking <laughs> about? You feeling all right, Nick? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? Wait. Were you just playing a joke on me? I guess that's for you to wonder and for me and Kellogg's memories to know for sure. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. We have to head into the glowing sea. Any advice? Hmm. I'm a synth, so radiation isn't much of an issue for me. Bullshit. But an old suit of power armor might just be the guardian angel you're looking for. That or you could buy up all the rad X and rad away you can find from any chem dealer who's got it in stock. Uh-huh. Well, I'm gonna go alone this time. I'm gonna head out on my own from here, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. Do I, though? Also, that's bullshit. Radiation affects circuitry, Nick. It's electromagnetic in nature. Which is what your circuitry is, driven by electrons flowing through various components. Dumbass. And I say I'm an idiot. Well, I'm content with how far I've gotten, and as far as recording it goes. Brotherhood of Steel is. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine, Nick. Right. <clears throat> I'm done for now. Till next time. Toodles.